Caracil is a um, inherited disease. I it is inherited in an autosomal dominant manner, uh, which indicates that uh, every person affected with Caracil has a 50 percent chance of passing on the gene to their children um, and therefore the child has a 50 percent chance of uh, developing the illness. Uh, this uh, chance is independent with each pregnancy and um, it, is it is a disorder of the small blood vessels, uh, not necessarily the larger blood vessels like the aorta or the carotids, but the small blood vessels that penetrate deep into the white matter or the deep gray structures of the brain. Um, it causes, uh, the, pa the, the main pathology is loss of blood supply to the deep parts of the brain, especially the deep white matter and the gray matter. It's really a multiphasic uh, sort of disease. With each decade, there is a different presentation. It affects men and women equally. Uh, usually by the late teens, uh, patients may have uh, either a mood disorder or onset of migraine. And the 20s are really dominated by um, either complicated migraine, migraine with aura or mood disorders. Uh, over 50% of patients with uh, cadacil will have migraine with aura. Uh, in the 30s and 40s, uh, patients may develop um, episodes, stroke, uh, strokes and stroke-like episodes where they have uh, some uh, symptom related to the uh, event uh, depending on wherever the stroke occurred, either weakness of the arm or weakness of the leg or uh, difficulty speaking and so on. By the time the patients are in their 50s, they develop a uh, memory disease or cognitive impairment uh, which progresses to dementia by the late 50s or 60s. So that's overall a rough sketch of caracil as a disease and how it may present in uh, different um, stages of life. Uh, as we discussed, uh, it is caused by loss of blood supply to the deeper parts of the brain. Now the brain is different than any other organ in that respect because uh, in the deep parts of the brain, the deep white matter and the gray matter, there is really no collateral circulation. There is no um, there is no backup if the uh, small blood vessels were to collapse and uh, not provide enough blood. Whereas in other organs of the body like the heart or the kidney or even the skin or the lung, there is enough collateral supply that uh, even though uh, these organs have uh, uh, similar kind of blood vessels and they do have a loss of uh, some blood vessels because of cadacil, their functioning is not impaired. Uh, the um, lack of blood vessels or the loss of blood vessels in caracil is pure is because of uh, loss of integrity of the vessel wall uh, there is no no inflammation or there is no um, uh, reaction by the body per se to this um, uh, dropping off of blood vessels and this drop off is accrued over life uh, to the point where um, it causes significant compromise of the blood supply